While the UN has called Israel's siege and destruction of Gaza a humanitarian catastrophe for its 2.3 million people, but Israel continues regardless, supported by the United States and many European Union nations, as Hashem Ahelbari explains. This war has been drawn along a crucial line that the Israeli army set at the beginning of its military campaign. From day one of the military operation, it made it clear that the north was its primary target. It told people to leave Gaza City, the largest and most populous in the Gaza Strip, and move south along what Israel said would be safe passages. Then, Israel continued to hit the area hard with a focus on Beit Hanun, also known as the Eretz Crossing. Now, Israeli troops and vehicles are inside the Strip. People have been running desperately for shelter, not knowing where they're going to go. The displaced went to homes in the south only to find themselves targeted by warplanes in Khan Yunus and Sayrat, Rafah, and many other areas. At this moment, two-thirds of a million are sheltering in UN shelters and facilities for Palestinian refugees, mostly in Khan Yunus and Rafah. But clearly, they're not safe, according to the UN's humanitarian office. 18 people were killed and almost 300 injured while sheltering at UN schools. People have turned to hospitals, but hospitals are overwhelmed, not just with patients, but 117,000 displaced people. The Israeli military has launched airstrikes near Al-Shifa and Al-Quds hospitals and targeted the Turkish hospital in Gaza City and the Indonesian hospital in northern Gaza. All 10 hospitals in the northern part of the Strip have been told to evacuate. If that happens, it will put huge strains on the few remaining hospitals in Khan Yunus, Deir al-Balah and Rafah. Where does this leave the 2.3 million people who live in Gaza? By forcing them south, people in Gaza City and northern Gaza fear they may never be allowed to return to their homes again and that Israel may be planning a long military presence in these two districts. That leaves them with only one option to relocate south to Khan Yunus, Deir al-Balah and Rafah. The fear for many in Gaza who were displaced in 1948 is that this latest displacement may last for generations.